Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, today we're going to be modifying a RC car ground ESC that normally is cooled down with a fan to water cooled. Okay, we're actually going to modify the ESC and install a cooling block. Okay, uh, several different ways to go about doing it. There's really no wrong way to do it as long as the ESC is cool while you're running the boat. There's no wrong way to do it. Uh, we're going to install it in the TFL small bolt. So stick around, you guys. We're going to tinker around. Big B. What I call RC. All right. So like I said, this is a, a ground ESC intended for RC cars. Okay. Um, and I'm actually unsure of the amperage that this ESC is putting out. <laughs> It could be anything from a 60 amp to a 120. Okay, it's uh, it looks like it's if I had to guess, maybe a 80. Okay, um, so this is a dynamite 60. All right, and it's actually got a extremely small footprint. Okay, it's it's really compact, and I like how that all the wires are coming out on this one side. It's got a little cat pack on it, on off switch, and um. It, 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 it seems like it's going to be simple enough to, to make, turn it into a water-cooled ESC. Okay, now, I'm, 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 I'm using this ESC for the small bolt here. Um, the small bolt actually came with this 2040 brushless in-runner motor. And I've actually installed a, a 2838 brushless motor in the boat. Okay, uh, 5700 kV. So I actually, I've actually run this motor with the stock ESC. It's a 30 amp and um, it actually did okay, but I want to change up the, the boat a little bit because I want to run two 2S packs in this boat. Okay, it's a lightweight boat with a small prop we should be all right but the reason i'm actually choosing this esc for this particular project is the footprint of the esc it's small it's compact and it will actually tuck right under the the, the top side of the boat which will actually be installing it on the other side once we get the stock esc out so um so we need to actually figure out how we're going to go about cooling it down uh, there's several ways to do it. There, like I said, there's no wrong way to do it as long as the ESC is cool while you're running the boat. Uh, you could you could actually break a couple of fins off or one fin and simply run a cooling uh, a copper or brass tube through your cooling fins and basically cool it down that way. It'll look you know something like this dynamite ESC. It's basically the same concept. You guys see that? All right, or you could cross drill it and run your two long ways, you know, drill out this way so it sits down in there nice and tight. And, um, you know, just depending on how you're going to put it in your boat, which way you need to go with it. Okay, um, you could actually use cooling plates for ground ESCs. Just simply sit the, the ESC on top of a cooling plate, which this isn't going to be an appropriate cooling solution for this speed control because the MOSFETs are on top of the speed control and we wouldn't really be cooling down the most important areas okay so we're not going to use that idea right. so what I'm thinking is I'm going to actually use a cooling block on top in place of the cooling fins okay so uh, we're going to take it all the way apart all right and I think there's double-sided thermal tape on here you could actually glue your cooling block on with uh, thermal paste it's like a heat conductive glue that transfers the heat from the the cooling block to your MOSFETs this one has a double-sided cool uh, tape on there so we're going to use it and maybe even zip tie it on so as you can see my cooling blocks a little bit too long okay so what we're going to do is actually cut it all right we're going to cut it down and then re-tap threads so we can put our, our nipples back in okay you feel me so let's take it apart because i actually have two different cooling blocks that will actually work on this speed control so let's go ahead and get it taken apart now so i actually took the the four screws off the bottom all right and uh we can actually pull the esc apart this one actually comes apart fairly simple uh some other ground escs may not be quite as easy to pull apart and mod but this one's like the perfect candidate <laughs> seriously okay so we're actually going to pull this off 
and make sure we keep the ESC together because this is actually a two-part speed control. You see right here where it kind of goes together, so you have to be careful when you're pulling these things apart. And now we can pull the stock cooling fins off. Okay, and now you can see the thermal double-sided tape. All right, we're going to keep that on there. So I actually have two options here. I could use this one to cool it down or this guy right here. Okay, so let's see if this fits in the stock case. And it looks like it does, but we have a little gap right there. And uh, if we get water in the boat, that might get you know allow water to get into the ESC but this boat right here runs dry when it's taped up properly it's a dry running boat and you need to take that into consideration if you have a, a, a boat that's always wet inside then this may not be the best idea for you you know but if you have a boat that runs rather dry you could you could do this okay so let's see how this one fits on there It looks like it fits better so let's check the case let's see if it goes in the case right here this is the first time I'm checking it oh and and those little lips right here it's gonna help hold the ESC or hold the heat sink the cooling block into the ESC so that may help keep the the speed control watertight okay so I think I'm gonna go this route originally I was thinking about using this one because it uh, it actually would be better for my build because with this guy right here we'll actually have to loop a little uh, silicone line to connect the two runs but um oh man they're the same height basically this one's a little bit taller so yeah yeah let's go with this one let's go with this one right here I got butter fingers today so what I need to do is cut it okay and then we're going to tap new threads for our nipple so I've actually need to cut it the right length here so I have it sitting on my ESC case right here okay I'm gonna go ahead and mark it where I'm gonna cut it okay so I'm basically gonna cut it right there where that little mark is cut it all the way across cut that off and retap it all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut it with a hacksaw. So I got a pretty good start. I got my, my cooling block cut to size lengthwise, okay? And um, I really want to use the case. You know, the, the case is going to help keep water out the actual ESC, the, you know, the chipboards and everything. So I want to keep the case. So I want to try to get this heat sink modified to fit in the case like perfect. Okay, as it sits now, I can't get my, my cooling nipples threaded in. Okay, I haven't tapped it yet. We'll do that here in a few. So um, I actually thinned the base of my ESC. I took some material off the bottom and I found what's kind of hindering me. Okay, you guys see how I can't get my nipples in there. So you guys see how it's kind of rounded right right here. So what I'm going to do is, is use my file or my Dremel tool and I'm going to try to square up the, the edge of that heat sink right there. So uh, so I've been working on this for like an hour trying to get this heat sink <laughs> to fit in the case perfectly and I, I'm pretty sure I got it I got it right okay um, I had to actually like I said I filed like all this right here flat you guys see that and kind of squared it up a little bit okay so it sits in the case and I have enough room for my nipples to go in I tapped I tapped out the holes here so we could put the nipple in the in the heat sink okay the water cooling block and I actually uh, grinded 
a little bit of the plastic off right here so that it, it basically clears the little nut on our nipple. So um, here goes nothing. This will be the first time I'm putting it together. And uh, we'll see if we can get it to fit in the, in the speed control case. Okay. And I'm actually thinking about... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's clear in the plastic. Thank goodness. Okay. So it's actually touching a little bit. But I think, you know, using some pliers, getting it in there, I'll probably get the nipples all the way seated. So, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use red Loctite on my nipple. That's going to basically seal the nipple so we don't have any water leaks in our, in our water cooling block. Uh, that's the last thing you want is a water, a, a leak <laughs> on a ground speed control. Cause these things, I don't know if it's waterproof, water resistant. I don't know. It looks like yeah, it doesn't have any kind of conformal coating on it at all. So I'm actually, I think I'm going to freaking epoxy it, uh, the bottom part. Okay, so I'll show you here in just a second what I'm talking about. So let's take this heat sink off one more time. Make sure there's no dust on my, my cooling block. So here goes nothing. Hopefully it fits. Oh, looks like it's going right on there. Okay. And the bottom. Nice, nice, it worked. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty clean too, man. That looks clean as hell. Oh, shoot, man. That actually looks pretty trick. That looks trick, you guys. That looks clean. <laughs> um, I had trouble getting this nipple right here in. And you guys can see where I scarred up the case. But uh, other than that, I think it turned out really clean looking. You know, um, next, you know, I'll probably do some type of waterproofing, whether it's just kind of sealing up these open holes in the ESC or just going in the ESC, doing some kind of conformal coating, corrosion X type deal. But I, I think it turned out great. You know, it, it was an easy, well, <laughs> it wasn't really easy. I had to do a lot of modifications to get it to work, but uh, it can be done. And I showed you guys a few different ways to do it hopefully it helps you guys out you know don't forget to like comment subscribe i'll install it in the boat we'll get it on the water here shortly uh thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc channel where we tinker test and tune everything